Now that you've seen how an array works and how an array list works, let's learn a new data type. File, new, project, console app, and this data type is just called a list. So I'm going to go ahead and call a list me uh, solution. Click OK. And if you remember some of the stuff we did with the array list and the arrays, you just created a variable. I'll call it list student. And with that variable, you actually specify the data type associated with it, like you'd say int or string or whatever. Let's go ahead and do the following. Instead of, instead of list student, let's say list student age. That will be the name of our variable. And you say the word list less than sign data type greater than sign. This now says create a variable called list student age, LST. That's an L, not a 1. It's going to be a list and the data type, notice it's in less than and greater than signs, is going to be an int. And then say equals new list int. That creates our variable that's going to be of the data type. Now remember over here you still have to call the constructor also. So you say list, the data type, and then you say parenthesis parenthesis because you're calling a constructor. And that now makes the list object for you. And now you can start putting things inside of it. For instance, you could say LST student age dot add 30. LST student age dot add 20. LST student age dot add 25. And that works now just like the array list did. The add method adds values into the list that you're working with. So what's the difference between the array list? Array list al student age equals new. I'll go back and fix that spelling in one second. Array list. What's the difference between array list and list? First of all, I didn't have to include any other classes for the list to work. Array list you do. Second, the list you specify the data type. Array list you don't. Really flexible. However, lists are type safe, meaning we know that they're all going to be the same data type. We like that. That's going to help us later on in our code. So what's the difference between a list and an array? An array and a list are both strongly typed. You specify the data type. But the list can grow and shrink like an array list, whereas an array is set. The list is the desired structure to use when you have multiple items you're either going to add or delete. And uh, you're going to use that accordion style um, array. So instead of doing the array list, I would just strongly recommend you do a list and you specify the data type. What could we do with this? LST, same thing we could do as with the array list. Dot sort. And that will now sort that array list for each sorry for each item in LST student age. Let's go print off that item, just like the array list. And I'll go ahead and do a console.readline to pause that, and we'll fix our errors that we have because we have to also specify the data type that's coming in. For each int in there, grab the first one, put it into that variable, print it out. Next one, put it in that variable, print it out. If I ran this, it should print off the sorted list in ascending order. So it prints off 20, 25, and 30 ascending order, just like with the array list. There is also a reverse method that would print it off in descending order, or not print it off, but sort the list, and then you'd have to do 
the four each again. Other things that we can do is you could say list.studentage.insert. Specify what position you want to insert it at. We could say let's go to position zero and let's insert the value 10. So that would now go to the first position of the array list. Move everybody to the right. You don't lose any. Move everybody to the right and add a new value. Let's go ahead and uh, move this sort down to there. So this to this time if I ran it, we should see the value 10 show up. This first 3, 20, 25, 30 is the sort. 30, 25, 20, 10 is the new element added and then reverse sorted. It did put it at position 0, but then the reverse moves it down to the bottom. Another thing you could do is you could say go use the remove method and go find a specific value let's say 20. So this line should search through the list we have looking for that value and if it's in the list remove it from the list which I just set a breakpoint and ran it and here's the contents 30, 25, 10. 20 used to be in there but now we removed it from the list. Another thing you could do rather than searching for a specific value and remove it you could actually say go remove at a certain position and that would say go to the first position and get it out of the list so if I ran that one more time I had that breakpoint set notice 30 would have been in position 0 but I said go remove the first value so 30 is now gone so 25 and 10 are still left so go take a look at all the methods associated with the array with the list data structure we don't really like to use array list because it's not strongly typed. We like the list structure because it is strongly typed. In the next video I'll show you how to create a list of objects just like we did using the array list.